They're extremely excited because it's really a new generation of rover of 900 kilos, which means 10 times more than the two rovers called Spirit and Opportunity, which landed in 2004. This lab named Curiosity has also 16 times more space and mass for science instruments. So it's a real robotized lab which will study Mars and to see if Mars has been hospitable enough to support life billions of years ago. And finally, it has a nuclear power electrical generator, which means that for years, this uh, uh, big rover the size of a car will run and explore Mars. It could even run during 10 years and, or more. So that's an absolutely huge mission there. Uh, could this be a first step towards putting an astronaut on Mars as well as a robot? That's pretty far for two reasons. First of all, technologically, to go to Mars means years of travel w with a lot of radiation and uh, there is no astronaut or crew which could stand the radiation and there is no easy solution. The other, the other aspect is, of course, budget, which speaks about hundreds of billions of dollars. So it's out of the question right now. But still, Curiosity has, will use and probably succeed with a new system of landing, descent and landing on Mars. And if it works well, it's a totally different system than anything before, and it's allowed to put several tons on another planet, on the moon, or any uh, um, uh, foreign bodies in, in, the, in the cosmos.